Hey guys, so you guys are probably wondering where my birthday special is. Well, consider this part one. Part two is going to be this video right here. Let me show you. Yeah, this gem right here. As you can see, it is almost done rendering. And you'll get that up by tonight. I guarantee you. Alright? Of course, it'll probably be at maybe around midnight. And midnight might indicate the next day. But YouTube will still indicate it as right now, today. Because they're so grateful, aren't they? Okay, so I'm going to show you guys the DVDs and games that I purchased. Yes, I do birthday shopping. So, yeah. So, the first DVD that I got is Archer, the complete season one. I don't know why they worded it like this. Why couldn't they have worded it like the complete first season? It sounds more grammatically correct. Espionage never tasted so salty. Okay. So, the front spine, uh, the Goodwill sticker covers up some of the title. I apologize. The back, clever and flat out funny. And. There's not necessarily a a rating. Well, it's rated 14A in Canada. Not really too familiar with Canadian ratings. And my one friend who's known as VHS Collector, he does openings of VHS tapes and DVDs. So if you guys want me to do any openings of any of these DVDs, post in the comments below as to what DVD you want me to do an opening of. Or if you want me to op to do an opening of all of them, let me know, and I'll mention you in the opening and whatnot. And yeah, next DVD I got is the Hangover Unrated Edition, and it's two disc special edition. Killer Funny says Peter Travers of the Rolling Stone. So you have the front, spine, the back, and. Yep. Oh, and here's the inside of Hangover. Oh, yeah. I, oh, this is the digital copy. This is the original. Yeah, some of these have the digital copy codes, which I'm not going to show in this video, because if I do and you guys steal them and I want to be able to copy them and use them, I won't be able to because somebody has already stolen them from me. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to show you guys the um, inside of Archer. There's disc one, and there's disc two. I never really seen Archer, but I heard from one of my friends that it's a pretty good show, so I'll give it a watch. Next DVD I got is The Master of Disguise. This is one of my mom's favorite films, and I have seen it before, but it's been a while, so I kind of forget the plot to it. So we got the front. The spine, again, I'm sorry if the Goodwill sticker covers up uh, some of the spine. The back, it's a kid-friendly family film with lots of good old-fashioned laughs, says t uh, Tony Roberto of Buffalo News. All this stuff. And uh, here's the inside of the film. Uh, of course, this has, like, the scenes and whatnot. You like this film, you love Stuart Little too. Okay. It's just saying films that they recommend watching. Next DVD I got is Annie. And I love musicals. If you know me really if you know me that well, then you would know that I'm a stickler for musicals. Annie is big, colorful, high spirited performances. Take home America's favorite orphan in the original. Original. Yeah, you didn't hear that. Uh, movie classic. And if you did hear that, congratulations. Uh, special anniversary edition. So the front. Spine. The back. And also, here's the inside. Next DVD I got, and it's a Blu-ray. It is The Wedding Ringer. Kevin Hart, Josh Gad, and Kelly... I. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna attempt to uh, say her last name because I feel like I kind of butcher up sometimes. Those of you who don't know who this person is, if you watch The Big Bang Theory, she's the one who plays Penny. And yes, I do watch The Big Bang Theory. 
It's a good show. Give it a watch. So here's the the front, spine, the back, and it's the comedy classic. Says Sean Edwards of Fox TV. It's rated R. Again, Fortune in Canada. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to show you the inside. Sometimes these Blu-ray um, DVDs are hard to open. Here's the inside. There's the digital copy, but again, I'm not showing it. Okay, and the final film I got, Black Sheep, with uh, Chris Farley and David Spade. And if you're familiar with these two, they were also in Tommy Boy. Give it a watch if you haven't. It's a pretty funny film. So you have the front, spine, again, the Goodwill sticker covers up some of the spine, I'm sorry. And the back, and it's rated PG-13 in the U.S., PG in Canada, I don't know why. Ratings are weird in different countries. And then you got the inside, I don't know why it's in a Blockbuster case, I'm wondering that same thing. And now on to the games. First game I got. It is one that AGK Video Maker 2000 has, surprisingly, and he's created this first Sona, I guess if you want to classify it as that, and that game is Sonic Forces, and I'm a huge fan of Sonic, I have played a lot of the classic Sonic games, I guess you could call me a classic Sonic fan, <laughs> no, not really, and Sammy does have a new YouTube channel, and it's called The Imperishable Sammy Zenith. And if you ever want to watch it, go ahead. He, he's not the screaming kid he once was. And he doesn't call people who hate Sonic freaking fricks. And, uh, yeah. So here's the front. Spine. Back. And here is the inside. Now this has the controls, and then this has... Oh... It's just an add-on. Uh, I'll consider downloading it sometime. Next D oh, not DVD. Next game that I got, and I believe it's made by the same people who are responsible for Banjo Kazooie. Ukulele. And weird thing about this game is, John Tron was supposed to be a voice actor for one of the characters, and, and they replaced him with someone else. I. I guess because they thought he was saying something racist. I kind of forget the whole story behind that, but... Bottom line, John Tron was once a voice actor for one of the characters in this game, and then they just switched him out for someone else. So we have the front, spine, back, buddy up for an epic adventure. Ready for everyone turning up, and so is uh, Sonic Forces. And here's the inside of you... Ukulele. I'm sorry, the knot popped up on my phone. And finally, the last game two friends of mine have, known as Rather Max Fears and Storm Taker 21. Halo 5 Guardians. Now, when I was at the store, I was debating on whether or not I should get this game or Halo Master Chief Collection. And I just decided, you know what, screw it, I'm getting this. So we have the front. The spine, and the back. The hunt for the truth begins. And I haven't really played a, a Halo in a while. The last Halo game I remember I remember playing was uh, Halo Reach. A and here is the disc. Oh, and this is nothing. This is a um, Xbox Live 14 day. Gold membership trial. I have not used it. I've given it to a friend known as XLive450X because he seemed desperate. And I decided, you know what? I'm going to give him a present because I felt like being generous. And I'm sorry if it sounds like I'm losing my voice. I don't know why I sound like this. But yeah. And besides, I prefer the 12 month membership over a 14 day membership. Anytime. So, yeah. And that's it for this video. And, oh, yeah, and also, 
I got a $25 Google Play card, which I already spent. So yeah, that is it for this video. And I'm going to pull up all these right here. And if you want me to do an opening, well, actually, no, I'm not the games. I'm not going to do openings of games, but any of these, the Master of Disguise, Archer, the Complete First Season, the Wedding Ringer, Annie, the Hangover, and Black Sheep. And if you guys... and. Like I said, I'll be inspired, not stolen, but inspired by PHS Collector. If you guys ever want me to do any openings, meaning that I take the DVD out of the case, I put it in my Xbox, because... Was, sorry about that. I sound like I am dying because of my voice. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, you know, my Xbox, it is the... Original Xbox One, it's not the Slim or the X, so it can play both regular DVD, excuse me, regular DVDs, and it can also play Blu-ray. And I have tried out, like, maybe two, yeah, two Blu-ray DVDs on my Xbox. Um, Workaholics, I think season four or six, I think maybe the fourth season, and Ted 2. And that's it for this video, and, uh, peace.